What's going on guys, it's the guy with the amazing name, aka of Kings 123 aka the sexiest one kind of in the universe. So guys, this is kind of a video, like I kind of just want to give my opinion on this because I've been hearing this quite a bit. Um, basically, as you see from the title of the video, allegedly UK music is now beginning to die out. Apparently it's beginning to become a lot less popular and it's beginning to just become, you know, a thing of the past. And obviously... I just want to just, you know, kind of speak my mind on it a little bit, especially now because of the sudden death of um, Cadet Man, who was a juggernaut. Like, let's not even lie, let's not even front. He was a gigantic force within UK music. Everyone knew him. Everyone respected him. And we can all agree that he was one of the greatest storytellers the UK has ever seen. And obviously, with, some, with, with people saying that UK music is beginning to die out, it's kind of like you know what i'm saying like i kind of just have to speak my mind man and guys thank you for watching that video man because really and truly i was genuinely actually quite saddened about his um his death all right but if you do want to see that video literally like i received that news that morning uh there's a link in the description below and you guys should watch that if you want man because honestly really and truly man i didn't expect it to just blow up the way it did and it did obviously it, it did because we're all paying our respects to Cadet and I don't want to kind of make that an achievement. Yes, it's my most viewed video, period, but really and truly, like, I'm just happy that the majority of the comments were, like, um, very, 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 like, you know, positive. But anyways, I'm kind of getting off topic. So basically, apparently UK music is kind of dying out. And the reason why is because it's being compared to the music uh, of the US. And basically, people are saying that, you know, US music is known internationally. You can legit go to any country and say, do you know who the Migos are? More than likely, they will know. Whereas if I was to go to someone in a different country and say, well, do you know who Keddy One is? Uh, allegedly you know what i'm saying no, no nobody would really know and um it's been said that uk music isn't going international enough because i mean obviously no it's bloody uk music but obviously since it's being compared to that us music where even though it does just originate in the us it's known almost everywhere you know what i mean like their music gets out everywhere you know what I mean? And maybe that's just because, you know, it's easier to market over there and whatnot, and I don't know. But me personally, I don't think that UK music is going down anywhere. And honestly, I actually think it's going on a rise now because um, there's a lot of underrated artists, you know what I mean? A lot of underrated people who should really and truly be in the spotlight, but they're not, you know what I mean? And um, I think it's only being overshadowed by this whole big gargantuan like image that we've put on UK music. And obviously we're comparing it to states because clearly the states have got, you know, like, I, I, I guess they have like more opportunity, bigger facilities and whatnot. And um, obviously like they just know how to market their brand a little bit better and then it becomes international. But obviously like the way I can just contradict that is look at Steph London. Like she made it to double XL and was the best one there. And she's a UK artist, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's not lie, Double XL when she was on it, like the one that she was uh, that she was involved in. Let's not lie, the rest of the rappers were dead. They were actually terrible, and she done amazing. You know what I'm saying? So obviously, like, we can use her as an argument, and we can even use people like Big Shaq, despite him not necessarily being like you know a proper rapper because obviously he's a comedian, but his song managed to go international. He's Tour, he was touring Asia, he was in Dubai and everything, you know what I mean? So, obviously, it looks like there's only a select few and not the majority is going international, which is why I think people are saying that UK music is dying, but really and truly, man, UK music isn't dying, man. I think it's getting stronger, and it's only a matter of time until it goes international. You know what I mean? Like, Gun Lean, Gun Lean is being done absolutely everywhere I turn. It's only a matter of time until you see it being implemented in, like different um areas of the world you know what i'm saying so that's just what i think really and truly so comment down below what you guys think because i just wanted to make this quick little video man because i really don't think that uk music is dying and people are also like you know trying to like oh almost trying to like connect it with the death of cadet and do you know what i mean like it, it literally just happened you know what I'm saying? So really and truly, like, it, it shouldn't even be compared to something like that. But you know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. That's just what I've heard. You know what I mean? I've seen it all over social media. There's not just one person. Oh, and by the way, I have a mission for you, man, yeah? There's this... 
let me let me chill. There's this person, right, who's commenting on the cadet video, calling his music garbage and giving us completely utterly and false information. Right? Their username was like 109M. I'm just gonna put it up on screen somewhere, right? The screenshot, yeah. Like, you see, people like you, yeah, because I'm not sure whether you're watching or not, but there's people like this that I just don't rate, you know what I'm saying? Like, my man passed away, and you have the guts to go onto, like, to go onto the internet and just try and just absolutely tarnish his name. Like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? It's people like that that I just don't rate. But obviously, man, aside from that, let's end it on a positive note. Um, I have quite a few videos actually coming up. Um, I have uh, a podcast that I'm launching. I have more music coming out. Possibly different channels, you know what I mean? Because obviously, as I said, 2019, man, we're coming with a different yay. So, guys, be sure to watch all that, yeah? But aside from that, I love you guys. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to share with your friends. Comment, like, do all that amazing stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bow.